Hi guys! Um, it's great to see you all again. Uh, it's been a really long time. I'd like to apologize for the amount of time I've uh, spent off YouTube and uh, not responding to your comments and such. Just get a little busy here and there. Um, I'd like to say that this is the first of many, but I'm not sure yet. But uh, stay tuned. In the meantime, this is The Muse by Darren Chris. So, first uh, thing we want to do is figure out this rhythm. So it's palm muted. And while uh, the strumming pattern basically is two bass, excuse me, one bass, then the chord, then two bass, then the chord. So it's one to two. One, two. And they're all basically down strums, you know, while I'm muting. You can add the occasional up and down click. That little shift up is uh, basically just downs. And uh, that's pretty much the whole song. With the occasional up and down. For the for the uh, open when you're like when you're not palm muting anymore. And then during the chorus there's Yeah, something like that. Uh, you can tell it's been a long time since I've done these. So there's a variation of chord, uh, of, of rhythms, pattern, patterns, whatever you can try out here. Um, but the main one is basically the down chord, down, down chord. And when I say chord, I like the whole thing. So bass, chord, bass, chord. Okay, now uh, let's go into the chords. So the song intro starts on a G minor. Get that same pattern going on. One, two, three, four, and four, and. And you, you want to do power chords in this case, I guess, at the beginning. With the occasional, like, see how my fingers are already indented? Like, you wanna, like, press it down every, ever so little sometimes for, like, those little... Yeah. So he's going from to the first fret, second fret, and then third fret on the E, are those roots. F, F sharp, G. And then we get right into the verse, which is... You're a diamond that I'm afraid... On afraid, we're gonna go to C minor. And it's an A minor, basically, at the third fret of the A string. Just put your bar right there. Okay. Four and one, two, three, four and. Now that's a little, uh, little luck you can try there. You're just adding a sus four there, and then releasing that to the C minor. You just have to do down. Down up, down up, pretty much. Then back to this original strumming with this. You know. Now don't be so restricted on that strumming too. You can also add like your own variation, remember? That's just try to feel free to experiment, you know? Um anyway, G minor. C minor. Ok, 
Okay, so when you get to that part, you're gonna go up to on my head. You're gonna go to what is this? E flat major chord. You can do it like that way or that way. Okay, I, I like to go with this just because it's easier on me. Uh, that's at the sixth fret of the A string. up here okay and here's a tricky one so right there we have a half diminished chord otherwise known as the uh, minor 7 flat 5 uh, F sharp chord F sharp minor 7 flat 5 um, so I'll tab that out for you your middle finger is on the ninth fret of the A string, uh, ring finger on the tenth fret going down, uh, index is on the A fret of the G string, and your pinky is on the tenth fret of the B string. If you'd like, you can uh, let go of your index finger and just mute the G string with the bottom of your ring finger. That's what I usually do. So, it's like this. Okay, and then we go to a G minor. Either there or here. Either one you can try. I like to go up here. And then we're going to go to a D flat 9, and then a D7, and a G minor. Okay, and that D flat 9, well, it's basically a D9 with the 9th flattened, but I'll tab that out too. Your ring finger is going to go on the 5th fret of the A string, index on the 4th of the D pinky on the 5th of the G, and your middle finger on the 4th of the B. Alright, and then to get to your D7, keep these two where they are. You're just going to switch uh, your index and your middle finger. So your middle finger is going to go on the 4th fret to maintain that 3rd. And this is going to go to the 3rd fret of the B string. So you have a D right there. That's your roots. Okay, and then we go to G minor. Alright, so now let's count that out, the beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Sound good? Okay. So that's the verse. You do that again, and then we go to the chorus. So from the D7. Right. So instead of going to the G minor, we're going to go to a G now. Okay. So uh, right here. So we're going to G. You remember the strumming pattern there is down, down, up, up, down, up. To C minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's three times each, you know, one. That would be one. Then, okay, so the, on the third time. You go to an uh, E flat major, and then you go to E flat minor. It's pretty simple. Uh, that's at the sixth fret. Uh, so let's try that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the third time. One, two. Okay, and then you
then you do the verse again. Um, what's after this? Right, so he does the verse again, and then he does a chorus. You might as well be dead. Okay, so he holds that down, up, 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 down, up. And that should be like four beats, I guess. One, two, three, four. And then he goes to a B flat major chord. So that's our bridge right there. I'm not going to skip that. Let's go over that. So you hold that E flat minor for four beats, and then you go to this uh, B flat chord. Notice how it's all just basically down strums. Pretty much. So yeah, B flat. Two, three, four. It's very important you remember it's two beats here. Three, four, so that's one, 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 one. Uh, this chord is F to E flat. One, two, three, four. And go to D minor seven to C minor seven. And that's uh, two for each. And that's when you. Uh, Okay, so let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we go back to E flat. And then the E flat major seven. And that's a uh, one, two, three. Okay, and it's all following the same basic pattern, you know, down, down, up, down, up, whatever. Um, right. And then he has that little interlude where, you know, it's just like the sing-along, I guess you could call it. When the love, da, 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 da. So that's a G minor, to F major, C minor, okay, back to G minor, very simple, and they're all just four beats, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, same little thing again. Um, and you can do it as many times as you want. Um, the one that he has, I'm sure that you saw it from him at uh, University of Michigan, he just... So he just skips that part, he just goes straight to uh, that chord and that, uh, the E flat and the A flat minor. And he just really repeats the chorus again. Keeps going on and on again. You might as well, you might as well be dead. And you can just try any ending you like. Uh, I usually just go with this current ending, which is uh, sort of like. You might you know something.
So that's basically him from the E flat minor to a C minor and back to the E flat minor. Go! To the G, I guess, whatever. Um, have fun with that. You know, give it your own twist or whatever and let me know. Post the cover. I don't know. Video responses. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. If you guys have any questions, you know, uh, just uh, comment below. Um, I'm gonna be answering comments from now on. Um, what else? Happy holidays? That sounds good.